away from home, though, we're going to ask you to present the next case, which is actually <coughs> CU-2016-01, Randall Godfrey. This particular request is a conditional use request from Mr. Randall Godfrey for a cemetery, um, approximately 77.8 acres, located at 2951 Stallings Road, just up from the intersection of Park and Inner Perimeter. It, is, it has three zones. Most of it is residential professional or R10, with a little bit of ER thrown in, just for good measure. Just kidding there. Um, they are proposing to do their cemetery in phases. The first phase to be about 7,500 watts, and I've neglected to add in the site plan, but the first to be to add in about 7,500 watts with the rest to be developed in future phases. The acreage is mostly wooded currently. There is about a third of the, the property that is wetlands and undevelopable. Undevelopable. It is proposed to remain undisturbed, which it needs to be if required to be. The property is undisturbed. There are single family residences and vacant lots around the parcels. Staff reviewed the request and they're given the mixture of the of the areas, given the fact that Stallings is considered a collector road, we do, we do recommend for approval with three conditions. Number one, that the applicant has 10 years from the date of the CUP approval to prepare and complete phase one to be able to bury folks to develop it for occupancy before approval expires. Any mausoleum must be at least 100 feet from the northern property line, and that the maintenance building shall be no more than 3,000 square feet in size. Any questions? Frank, I, I'm just curious. Uh, is the entrance point, I'm just curious, is it going to be off the stallings or off the haze, or is it going to be two, or am I missing that? Or no, Not that it matters, I suppose. <laughs> Currently, the entrance okay. exit is... I see it now. Sorry. I told, I'm sorry, man. I totally missed that. Commissioner, any questions for Tracy for presenting this case for us? Yes, ma'am. Commissioner Glenn? Um, are there any objections or input from the applicant in regards to the preconditions? I have... I emailed the applicant the case this morning. They are aware of the conditions. I do not know how they feel about the conditions. And, um, okay, but my second, if I may, question. Please, Has please. There any, um, have, have you gotten any input from the adjacent neighborhoods in, in regards to this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have received some concerned citizens, both through visits in the office and through phone calls. Any other questions for the place at this time? There being no additional questions at this time, we will be happy to take anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. Take your name and address for the record, please, sir. My name is James B. Braswell, uh, 3520 River Chase Drive, across there. And I'm representing Mr. Randall Godfrey, who is the owner um, of said property, and we are aware of those three conditions that we're planning to take. You're fine with them? Yes. Okay. Any questions for the presenter? I've got one. Commissioner Willis? Um, I heard um, her say that there was some concerns about the uh, cemetery being located where it is. Have you? spoke with, or Mr. Godfrey spoke with any of the residents around there to see what their concerns are? No, we have not uh, had any conversation directly with them. Okay. All right, thank you. Ms. Brown, I know that she stated here that you have 10 years to get this thing started. Can I be so forward and ask you, what, what do you see your timeline as being? Um, Mr. Godfrey would have to go forward with it with the, uh, as soon as we get approval from, of course, the local government first, and then we have to also get 
from moving from the local, we have to move to the state. Yes, sir. So once we have did everything straight with the uh, local, and then the state, then we'll proceed immediately. Okay. Uh, you have the questions for the presenter? I got one more. It, it may be on here, but <clears throat> and it may not apply. It might be something for staff. But there any setbacks or from the cemetery standpoint, or is it going to be any uh, uh, buffering, if you will, around it, or is it just coming right up to the road? There will be a twenty-five feet. I believe it's just on one side. That's correct. It's, it's on one side. Uh, there'll be a buffer around. It. I know that northern border, and uh, also to add the, that the entrance, our plan is the entrance to be a um, entrance to add to the beauty of that neighborhood, not just to put something there. So and the entrance is coming in off, off, stall. off, stall. off stall. Okay. And to clarify, all structures, including mausoleums, maintenance buildings, things of that nature, as well as graves or burial lots, have to be at least 25 feet from any property line or local street right-of-ways, and not less than any 50, not less than 50 feet from any collector, arterial expressway, or freeway right-of-way line. So there are set, setbacks in our in our supplemental regulations. Now, and Commissioner, we'll just add to what you were saying. I mean. It, it appears to be by the photographs extremely wooded anyway, so yeah. I, I don't I don't I don't know I don't anticipate you taking all the trees down no, just sir. just <laughs> just just enough, I suppose. Yes, no, but, but, and, and but, done in phases. Yeah, put seventy five hundred lots in there, you're going to remove something. Like I, mean, <laughs> I mean you can you can see the drawings at that front yeah. that front entryway is uh, pretty lengthy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna remain in wetland, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that the wetlands are along the eastern portion of the property and they're to remain in the shop. Any other questions for the presenter? Mr. Braswell, thank you, sir. I got one more. Oh, I don't one leave. Yeah, Commissioner Willis. Um, from the point of ingress there, off of Stallings, um, to the. I'm, Okay, to the north of the uh, entrance way off of Stalins. Are there going to be any grave sites along there? I know you got to have a 25 foot buffer, but on the north side of that road? No. No. Okay. So actually, there's going to be more than 25 foot from the road to the to the property line. Okay. All right. I don't have anything else. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Tracy, I'm just curious that the four plots are shown on the drawing. You know the total acres of those four plots? Is that? That I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this particular request, please come forward this time. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request, please come forward. Anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request, please come forward. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity to come before the Planning Commission, and it's a great service to the community that you all do, and I appreciate it. My name is Glenn Gregory. I'm here with my wife, Sherry, and my father-in-law, Thomas. We can hold it on Stalin Road, and our address is 30, 32, 30, 3226, right? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like your wife to stand with you, Mr. Gregory. Yeah, thank you. Sorry I had to turn around there. And uh, we appreciate, the, obviously, a hearing on this, and everybody's taking into consideration what's going, uh, what's planned to happen with this property. A couple of things concern me tonight is that site plan. We we don't have you don't have a site plan that any of these these audience folks can see. And technically you're supposed to have a site plan. Now you may have one, but nobody else has got one. Is that right or wrong? It is available through the open records request. And it has been well that's not that excuse me, didn't mean to interrupt, but that's not acceptable. 
You can't do that. I mean, that's just, that's off of the, that's out of the realm of the proper procedure. You got to have a site plan, and people have to have access to that site plan. And I understand it's open record, but I went down to get one today, and it's three days before they give it to you. And that's not acceptable. I mean, there's no reason that people can't see a site plan. It becomes a part of the public record anyway. And it's something that you're tying to the rezoning. And for us not to be able to have access to it is is wrong. It's just flat out wrong. And it ought to be part of this here. So that's the first objection. Uh, we, have, we are against it. A uh, couple of things that we want to point out here on conditions, and that is wetlands. It needs to be a part of the conditions that there is no clearing done in those wetlands. No timber harvested, no clearing done from those wetlands that are on the east side of the property. That ought to be part of the conditions under which this is approved. That way you continue to have a screen of natural wooded area. It's attractive and it's not, uh, it's not uh, impending on solid growth. Another condition that we're suggesting is the distance from Stalin's Road to the first grave site. And obviously it needs to be far enough to be beyond the wetlands, something like three to 500 feet. And it ought to be a part of the conditions. You're, you're approving something with a conditional use permit. And if you don't tie these things out distinctively, they won't happen. We've seen rezonings and buffers required. Uh, the other is along the northern border, there's a Georgia Power right-of-way along there. There's a ditch there, it's about 10 feet deep. And it runs the full length of this property right here all the way out to the perimeter. It's, it's, it's on somebody else's property. Uh, and it probably is on the Georgia Power right-of-way. So what I'm saying is, is that that buffer ought to start at that right of way and go south so that you you don't go just 25 feet from the northern property line you go 25 feet from the georgia power right away that's actually clear so Tina, you're referring you're saying on the northern side but isn't the georgia isn't the georgia power it is on, on the south side it is on the south side okay okay, yeah. okay. okay. and so there's a, the first objection is, as we mentioned, there's no site plan. People can't see uh, what's going on. And if, if that wetland is preserved and no timber cut, it will provide a, a buffer and a screen uh, up on the front of the property uh, on Stalin's Road. And we'd like, and we'd like to have uh, some statement that's tied to this that says, before you get the first grave, you're like you're beyond that wetland. In other words, three, three to five hundred feet. And right now, nobody out here can see how much wetland there is. But I think y'all might have a site plan, but the public does not have a site plan, and that's not that's just not acceptable. And you ought to deny it on those grounds until it can be resolved. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Warren, hold it for me just a second. Any questions for the presenter? Any questions or comments for the gentleman? I've got a couple. Mr. Wilson, when you um, said three to five hundred foot, are you saying from Stallings Road? Yes. From Stallings Road. Stallings yes. Road or the wetlands boundary? No, the wetlands is pretty much up there it's the to Stallings Road. Yeah. We actually went down to the community development today and, and they showed us the plan, the site plan. But we couldn't copy it. Uh, but it it virtually goes all the way up to the Stalin's Road. Right. So you'd have a road in there on one side of that, and then you'd have your uh, office area and your maintenance area up on the northern side. Uh, I mean the southern side. What am I saying? Yes, yeah, northern side. That's right. But the site plan, 
does illustrate what we're talking about in protecting those wetlands and utilizing them as a buffer, continuing the uh, attractiveness of the wooded area. So just for clarification, and I may have heard you right, so one of your conditions that, that, that you have asked us to consider yes, was not to have the first grave site unless it's three to 500 feet off of Stalling Road. Is that correct? That's correct. Well, I, and I know you I know you've seen this, but that 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 will that will happen if it goes by this side plate. It's over 815. Yeah. Foot. Yeah. Well, we didn't have I couldn't find a scale on there. We couldn't get a copy of it. And uh, but I do know that wetlands, uh, if it's and it, it just needs to be brought out, even though that's uh, something that was brought out yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. It needs to be conditioned. I think. So that there, there's no mistaking that you don't, before you start the cemetery, first grave site, it's at least beyond all those wetlands and it's three to five hundred feet. If you say it's eight, then that's fine. Well, now, the, 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 for clarification, it's 800 feet till, till the first jog, if you will, uh -huh. but it's over half that first 815 feet that's encompassed by wetlands, so it's, mm -hmm. it's got to be close to 400 feet, if not better, sir. Uh, probably on the outside, 500. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <coughs> well, as long as, it's, as long as it's conditioned. Yes, sir. In other words, uh, bulldozers don't have many consciences, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't take friends. They don't take friends. And it, and it happens <coughs> too late then. Yes, sir. And uh, so, but if it's a condition, then they've got to abide by that, whomever it is. Right. Any, any other questions or comments for the presenter? Commissioner Willis? Just a little clarification here. You're saying three to five hundred foot. So yeah. if you describe if there was if there was a uh, a uh, condition placed on that with the existing wetland or not to be of course I know you're not looking at the, the and it's, <clears throat> it has to be delineated but uh, it's I don't believe you're gonna be able to mess with the wetland anyway you would just you just want some additional language in there yeah, so where it can't be disturbed yeah. and it can't be uh, well, there, uh, there's three conditions. Cut and stuff like that yeah there's three conditions on it now Right. I understand. And this would be a, a fourth condition. Um, and I would ask or suggest that there be a fifth, and that is that is points out no disturbance of those no timber harvesting, no undercut of, of brush, to maintain a wooded area. Well, that, that's what I have for the you, that you have asked us to include yeah. no harvesting of the wetlands and three to five hundred feet back to stalling ground. I believe that's two that you requested. Yes. Any other questions or comments for present? Thank you, Mr. Gregor. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. I got a quick question. You see, Bart Mike. So, if he would today, they, they wouldn't make you a copy. I'm just curious. I consulted with our city clerk who recommended that any release of your packets, including the site plan, needed to go through the open record for what? Even though this is public, even though this is public, yes, sir. It's in, and that's a three-day request. It can take up to three days. Usually, it doesn't. So, just to, so the packets are. This is not available at all to the public. The first time they see the information is right now on the screen. Is that? They can come into the office and look at it, um, which Mr. Gregory did, but unfortunately, I was unable to release copies. So, so if, if a concerned citizen called, that is not something that you could email to them, this packet? Correct. I have another question. Can I speak, Chairman? Yes, sir. Please come forward. Listen, this, this is something that needs to be changed. I mean, this, this, it's just not acceptable for the public out here to not have access. It's not like you've got to mail it to them through postage and spend time on copies and all that. We gave them our email, and they could it could have been emailed to us. Ms. Gregor, and when did you give them an email? Uh, this morning. And for any other citizen that wishes to get information about a rezoning needs to have access without going through a three-day waiting period, 
I actually didn't know it, so I waited until today because I wanted to know the facts as much as I could know. And uh, there's a, a prohibition <coughs> against that from the city clerk. Thank, Thank you, sir. Mr. Gladden, you have this? Uh, yes, actually, uh, just a clarification. If you can repeat, Tracy, the, the current requirement for setbacks for a cemetery when you are adjacent to a major thoroughfare, what, would that, what is that? Or what, what would Stallings be considered? Stallings is considered a collector according to our engineering department. Uh -huh. And it says that all graves or burial lots shall be set back not less than 25 feet from any property line for a local street right of way, which Stallings is not a local street or right of way which means that they have to be not less than 50 feet away from any collector or carrier expressway or freeway right Okay. Thank you. Um, and if I just miss, thank you, Tracy. And if I can just say uh, something to Mr. Gregory's um, comments about public record. I mean, clearly, we are a recommending body, and I would hope that you would take that to the city council meeting and express that uh, concern. I'm sure you... You probably would. Um, thank you. That's not something we have to do anything with. Commissioners, any, any other discussion amongst ourselves? I think we've elapsed our time on the mm -hmm. bar and denial, but anything up, any other comments we need to discuss amongst ourselves? If we have no further comments, I will entertain a motion on this request at this time. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Wills. I'm trying to make an attempt at this. Um, you have the, the other two conditions that were asked for us to be included? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, same thing, I think it's consistent with the comprehensive plan. Uh, I make a motion that we approve it subject to the following conditions. Condition number one, condition number two that's listed there, and the uh, she read them earlier. Did you read them earlier, President? Mm -hmm. And number three, I'm going to add a number four, the delineated wetland that's shown on the uh, uh, survey by ASA Engineering. There, the number four condition would be no clearing, no harvesting of timber, no cutting of shrubs anywhere in the wetland delineation. I think that would cover his three to five hundred foot he was concerned with. Do you want to include that also? <coughs> yeah. Okay. But we yeah we can add a number five as the setback through the wetland delineation five hundred foot at least but I'm saying where the delineation is on this uh, plant that's presented by ASA Engineering. I'm going all the way out to the end of it on the on a motion. Okay. Uh, a buffer, not only on the southern border from the property line, but a 30, a 25 foot buffer from the Georgia Power easement line. <coughs> and there are because of the houses that are on the northern side of this property, there are a section, there's a section that says plots, where it says phase one. Um, I would like to see that, that area. I know there's no plots on that side, but instead of a 25 foot setback from the spot where it says 2292.13 feet, going back towards Stalin's Road instead of a 25-foot setback, seeing how there's houses to the north of that, I'd like another condition to be that it's a 100-foot setback on the northern side from, I know that's a, a measurement, but whatever that is where it says 2292.13 feet eastward back to the Stalin's Road. I have a question on the last one. You said 100 feet from the northern boundary. 
You want a hundred feet buffer into the got twenty five foot. Yes, sir. But he said earlier that when he when he came forward that there was going to be no plots north of the drive and there are plots north according to our uh, survey here it says plots. So I'm assuming just below the twenty five foot plot yeah. buffer. So I'm saying just under the buffer. There is a twenty five foot. I mean, can you verify those plots that Commissioner Willis has said to the right to the north of the driveway? Yes, sir. They they are marked as plots. I'm sorry, I think I'm... Did I lose you? I am so confused now. Okay. Yes. What Commissioner Willis is saying so, is he, yes. he showed a 25 foot pier. Mm -hmm. He is concerned with these plots on the north end of the road. He wants this buffer. More than 25. But you are saying that there is a conflict somewhere that information provided that there were no plots to the north of the road. The when I, when right I asked him above that drive that come into the phase one in the circular uh, landscape area there, the roundabout deal right in there over to phase one. I'm only talking about a 100 foot setback on the northern side there. Instead of a 25 foot buffer from the from the point, I don't know what that is running through there, where it says 229213. That's correct. That's back eastward, 100 foot down instead of 25 foot to buffer the houses on the northern side of that. And just to make sure we understand, we're using the right, the proper terminology. When we say buffer, we're expecting a hundred foot landscaped buffer. Yes. Not just a setback. Well, you've got existing uh, Wood. wooded area now. So leave the existing uh, buffer of a hundred foot that adjoins where the house is to the northern part of it. And I think I've covered if I'm not so you'd like any existing trees, landscape? Well, well, and I have one question on that, Tracy and Commissioner Willis, is is uh, this road that is showed on this thing has got to be outside the wetlands. Are we okay if that that drive has trees removed? Are you okay? No problem with the drive coming in there. I just didn't want any lots on the northern side and leave the existing. Yeah, where the road comes in, you've got to take it out. But okay. north of that, where it says plots, leave that as a buffer and use that as some land, as the landscaping and green space to the northern part of that. So if it truly is 200 feet in from the property line to so the drive, it's 100, 100 feet. Just for clarification. I'm sorry, Tracy, you had something to say. My question was answered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I had a, I'm sorry, sir. He can't. He can't no, sir. Yeah, I had a bit of a, a thing. If you had the wetlands in there, uh, that's not the need to wait. They can't build in the wetland. They can't bury anyone in the wetlands. So if you have that wetlands and then you, we're still talking about an additional 100 feet? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm talking to the north of the Just on the north of the commissioner. On the northern side here, of the property, here. not in the wetland. You've already got plenty of buffer there. Well, if I, I mean, if I can interject, we've already, I'm a little bit concerned with how much restriction this is going without really knowing specific numbers and how this is really impacting the usability of this. So if we are saying we would like the southern buffer to start where the easement actually begins, already we are tracing, we are already impacting the the southern zone where they can have plots. Now what I'm hearing is another 100 foot buffer to the north. So we are, we are only not on the whole thing, just on, on the north. On the north, just from that point back eastward. Now anything below that 100 foot that they can put in there below the 100 foot buffer. Now that's not an additional 100 foot. You're adding an additional 75. What point are you going east? all the way to the line, because I don't think it's really going to affect it, so, uh, the way the, the so, way the block looks. But the commission, what they're saying, the complete 2,200 yeah, feet? They can still use their parking space over here if they have to, but uh, this, this space right in here is going to be right abutting the houses to the north of that, is what I'm concerned with. And you think a 100 feet? That just seems like a setback. Well, it's only 838 feet wide at the 
Stalin's End Road. So you're taking up 100 feet out of it there. I'd like to make sure we have wish we knew from this point of this road how far well, I mean, yeah. I just, I would actually like to know this. I mean, I know this is a burial ground, which is a very quiet neighborhood. It's going to be a lot of open <laughs> areas, so I'm just trying to comprehend the, the apprehensiveness, I suppose, about having this um, development in this area. So I understand from Stalin's road, and I understand the sensitivity of the wetlands and the the character that they give the area, but to further um, impact the development like we are talking without really knowing the details and how that really affects this. I'm a little bit, I'm not very comfortable with us actually posing or imposing these numbers without really knowing how this is really impacting this. Okay, if you look at the aerial photo, you see where the houses actually butt right up to the line on the northern side there. That's the area I'm concerned with right there. Their, their houses is existing now. Do you want somebody to come put cemetery lots 25 foot from your property line? Well, it won't be 25 feet. Uh, it will be greater than that, will it not? Be 20, 20, 25 feet. I mean, unless we extend it out like I had made a motion to do. I'm just concerned about those houses right there. Would not. It's on the aerial. I know they have to, they're going to need some setback, and the residents need some re relief if you put that in. But let us let us not put it into the point that, uh, in other words, what I'm saying, I, I'm trying to phrase this thing right, that you don't, you know, we sit here often and talk about restrictions, which is good, we must have them. We talk about uh, preserving areas, which we must have. But let us not preserve until we've preserved the people all the way out of business. Now, we've sat here oftentimes and we've talked about doing these things. Uh, and now, if we have 800 feet across here and you take 100 of it, uh, why don't we move the road up a little further and then have them to start have the conditions that on the other side, south of that road, <coughs> that they can start putting plots in there. But you still have the openness of the cemetery plots to the residents that's already existing. There's no cemetery. You're bringing the cemetery to the ones that's existing. We're not bringing the houses to the cemetery. No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is uh, supposing that road was up here on the uh, south, just south of the 25 foot easement, and that would in fact be part of this 75 additional 75 feet that you're talking about. I'm not. I don't have we. I'm not going to change there. No, I'm yeah. just throwing. Yeah. I'm just throwing an idea out. Uh, that you might be able to live with or not be able to live with. All right, well, we've had good discussion here. I'm we, almost down on my motion. We do have a motion uh, with the existing three conditions with, uh, I think, the addition of three. Do you have that, Ms. Cormel? Is that what you have? The addition of four and five. Yes, ma'am. Would you read? Well, actually, can he, did, did, you, did you, on condition five, did you... The 500 feet setback from Stallings, along with the 100 feet buffer. So you, you put those together. Um, I'd rather see them separate, personally. So that that one section on the northern side at 100 foot, because I don't want any confusion to come back and say, oh, there's a buffer of 500 foot coming off the northern line. Okay, so we have Commissioner Willis has. Uh, the only reason we put 500 in there is because there was a concern about the wetlands being. Encroached into possibly and not have a. I feel 
Yeah, it's going to be 500 out there for sure. Oh, yeah. I see it. I cool. see about 800 books on it. But. We have a motion with conditions from uh, Commissioner Willis at this time, since we've had extensive conversation, is can I, will, uh, can I have a second on that motion? Well, can I get some clarification? I've got 25 foot from the Georgia Power easement. Is that also in the motion? Yeah, on the sub. I've got it as well. I mean, it's, it's, called a it's on the plat. So that's a plat. Right? That's, I mean, that's no, no, no. From the, from the Georgia Power easement, not from the property line. The commissioner asked for it from the easement as opposed to the property line. So that's an additional 25 foot on the southern border. That was the substance of your motion, was it not? Yes. And in fact, it's almost probably going to come from that, from the property line almost. Well, that's what I mean. Based on, based, really on, based on, based on, based on, it's really close. It's going to be close. Really yeah. close. Based on the it, it's already in print here, so. Yeah. I bet the easement is the property line at the beginning of the easement, I would think. It would be very close. Commissioner Raker, any additional questions? Oh, that's it. Through the wetland, back five hundred. We got seven. That's correct, yes, sir. So we have a motion <coughs> from Commissioner Willis. I am still looking and considering a, a second <coughs> on his motion. Do we have a second? No. Do we have another motion? How about it, Mr. Gregory? How's your people feel with that? No, that's not. I mean, it's, excuse me, Mr. Gregory. We, we, we can't do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Do we have an additional motion that would like to be presented? You got to vote this one down. I got to have a second. Oh, we didn't get a second. I got to have a second. I make a recommendation on, I make, I, we should make the recommendation to the city council and to get some further clarification on the setbacks of the wetlands in this. Wait, are you making a, are you making a second on his motion? No, sir, I'm not. I, I need somebody to do something here. To, I'll, make a, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the three conditions as presented by staff with the fourth uh, condition to um in regards to the wetlands to remain without disturbance well, my condition. okay so you 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 were second in his motion you're making another motion right mm -hmm. to to make so since that motion failed that motion i'm making a new that, that was all okay the so, so, a new so commissioner gladwin has a, right. another motion that, that encompasses the three stated correct with the four, plus the har no harvesting of the wetlands mr chairman i'm sorry but you kind of Heal this motion before yeah. you can go on to another. No, it's like a second. Like a second it, 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 excuse me, sir. It died, but it's like a second. That's the first time I heard you say that. He said that. Didn't have a second. I heard. Didn't have a second. Didn't have a second. <laughs> Don't say it died. Like. It died for like a second. So we have a new motion up here because the first one died for like a second. The motion being that it comes as the three conditions. Plus, would you repeat your conditions yes, also? The fourth here? condition would be to protect the wetlands and to ensure no no disper no disturbance of the existing wetlands. Okay. Did you also, I'm just curious, did you also want to include the 500 feet setback just to make sure? Or are you okay with not doing it? No. Just no, disturb no disturbance of the wetlands. No disturbance of the wetlands. Okay. So we have a motion from Commissioner Gladman. Second. We have a second from Commissioner Ball. All those in favor of this motion, please signify by raising your right hand. We have five. All those opposed to this motion, please signify by raising your right hand. Three. The motion passes five to three. 